Good evening. Good evening, guys. Hi, Wendy. Great to see you. Mario, hello. Hi, Jorge. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Maria Elena, how are you doing? Hi, Cristia. How are you guys? Good Olga, evening. hello. How are you? So happy Tuesday, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining. Uh, well, Norma, I believe you are uh, on your way home. So thank you so much for being here. But, well, if you feel comfortable, uh, you are also welcome to turn off your, your camera for some minutes, right? That is totally fine. Uh, so good evening, everybody. How you doing? Are you uh, working tomorrow? Are you resting tomorrow? Olga, will, will you work tomorrow? What is it your like day off? Is it a holiday? So yesterday some is of the my, Yes. In my day off, teacher. Ah, okay. Very nice. So it, it'll be your day off. Okay. 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 For the rest as well, it'll be your day off too, guys. Maria Elena, uh, Wendy would uh, enjoy it, miss. So um, have a good in my case is yes. is day off because I give, um, give extraer. Extract, take out. Ah, take, take out um, the phone office, the cell phone office. Ah, okay. And I, I attend, I attend, no. Mm -hmm. I, I answer uh, the message or customers. Oh, or okay. Home, or, yeah. From your house? In my house, yes. Home oh. office. <laughs> Home Tomorrow. Office. <laughs> oh, well, not that fun. <laughs> but okay, the good thing is that you'll be at home. In my home, and uh, sometimes no, no call or no, no send message. I imagine no just sense. for emergencies, right? Or something yeah, like that. Yeah, for emergencies, yes. Yeah. Okay, sounds really nice. Really, really good. Well, guys, um, so I hope, you know, if you're working so what you can mean? get extra money. Mr. Gavarreta, I... wait, I thought that was Mr. Gavarreta's voice, but no, that was Jorge's voice. <laughs> for what one second, I confused your voices. How are you, Jorge? Pretty good because I'm here in San Salvador. Oh, you came home. Yes. Wow. Did you? It's the day off tomorrow. Ah, okay. But were you like, uh, did you finish working early to go back to your house early? Yes. Today, go go out uh, at 3.30 in the afternoon. Ah, super early. So you were able to hit home early as well. All right. Nice, that is really good because you're at home, right? So home but sweet Tuesday, home. But Tuesday I I have to wake up at 3 30 in the morning. Uh Thursday. Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday. Thursday. Oh, because you need to go back to San Miguel too. Yes. Oh, that's so well, but it's worth it, I guess. So, yes. um, and it's just like two hours earlier. So, okay, I know that's a lot okay. of time earlier, right? <laughs> like four hours earlier. Okay, but at the oh, end of the cool. day, it's worth it. All right. So, thank you so much, guys, for joining, Mr. Gavarrete. Thank you so much for being here too. Ariela, good evening. Thank you for joining, Sylvia. Great to see you. And um, I think I saw another, well, somebody else here. Okay. Okay, guys. Well, today we are going to work um, pretty much on this structure that is conditional number three. Yesterday we came to, <clears throat> give me a sec. I'm sorry, my voice is kind of breaking. <clears throat> so yesterday we were working with conditional number three. Uh, talking about unreal situations, uh, we kind of practice grammar a little bit, but today we're going to practice uh, in, you know, in use, like uh, speaking purposes, right? So, so how would you use it and how would you express ideas without writing them? 
So um, first I have a couple of scenarios here uh, that I want you, I want you to, uh, well, I want to present over to you. And also we can grab some ideas here. So if you take a look at number one, these are just hypothetical situations, but I don't know if that has happened to you. Um, everybody reacts in a very different way. So take a look at situation number one, guys. It says, what do you do if someone grabs your purse or your backpack? So guys, has it happened to you? Has anybody, you know, tried to steal, tried to grab your purse or your backpack? Do you know the meaning of grab? Yes. yes. Okay, nice. So grab is like day by force, right? Mm -hmm. So have you been in that situation? What did you do in that case? Tell us about it. Or what would be your reaction? Um, I think it happens to me once. Oh. When I was in, in school, some other girl tried to grab my lunch. Oh, okay. Your lunch box. Yes. Okay. So I was like, hey, this that thing is mine. Oh. And she was like, no, it's mine. I know for sure. So I I literally opened to see her that my stuff okay inside. <laughs> Oh, okay. And and at the end, she accept that one, or did yeah. she keep on pushing that it was hers? It was mine. She was a shame. <laughs> oh, okay. But yeah. it was by accident, I believe, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, probably hers was similar. Yes. Yes. In, in my case, in my case, never happened to me. <clears throat> uh, what about being being robbed? uh maybe when go out of the university once soup on a, a time mm -hmm. uh, a couple of men uh, give no me pidieron how do you say me ask. they asked for my watch and i you gave it over. <laughs> you gave yes. your watch to them. So yes. no fight back, um, no they, opposing they reaction. Had, they had a knife. And... Oh. Okay, so they didn't grab it, but like they asked um, politely <laughs> for your watch. Yes. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, grabbing is like you're walking and suddenly somebody grabs, you know, takes your stuff, right? Maybe your phone, maybe your backpack or your purse. Um, guys, have you ever been into situation number one or what do you think you would do? So no. would you yell? Would you scream? Nothing? In my... In my case, I I understand uh, take take oh, with force mm -hmm. take with force a force or a backpack yes yes uh, uh, someone a boy a boy they grabs grabs my purse okay. and the first of my my co-work no my classmate co-worker no oh, co-worker co okay co-worker co and my co-worker uh, was very strong very strong oh okay my... was it a boy no a it's girl. a girl oh okay it's a girl but i i not i I don't, I don't, don't strong, strong, mm -hmm. and and a boy grab grab my purse, grab okay. my purse, but not not the not purse hers. of my coworker. Okay, yes. only only only, only yours. Yes. Oh, okay. So I understand that he he grabbed yours I, and he I, tried to grab your uh, friends too. Yes, I um se dice, traté de quitársela, no sé cómo decirlo. Uh, you try to I, get it back? I try I try to get it back. Okay. Yes. In my first 
no. No, no. You couldn't, you couldn't. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you couldn't, but your friend could. Yes. I get it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So like grab is, you know, with a lot of force, in right? The, in, in the K, in the K, uh, the, a boy no, uh, does not force two or grabs two force and only, only my force. Mm, okay. Yeah. Because your friend kind of fighted that. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Sorry to hear that. I guess that is very common, but it is more common like a robbery, right? Um, and not like by force. I think it's more common in other countries. All right. Okay. Uh, what about number two? This is very similar to Jorge's situation, guys. It says, what do you do if someone asks you for money? So these guys approach Jorge, they asked for the watch and he gave it away. Guys, what would you do or what do you do? It says here, if someone asks you for money, like give me a quarter, give me a dollar, do you give money to people? Olga, Nelson, Susana, what, what, uh, how would you react? Or what teacher, do you do? Sorry. Uh, teacher, I'm sorry, I am my working. Ah, okay, okay, Susana, no worries, no worries, that's fine. Depends I hope on, you finish working at the location, again. teacher. De depends on the location. Yes, because if you know it's a difficult place, mm -hmm. it's better if you you carry in your hand. A, you a give them, of... so if you are ready. <laughs> you are ready. No, are you serious? If you are ready to give him some, to give them some I, money, I imagine that, but but it's better. Oh, I, okay. I remember, I remember when I I was in the university and I take a bus. Mm -hmm. and sometimes uh, there are people that that uh, uh, up to the bus mm -hmm. take the, take the bus to 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 ask for money mm -hmm. then it's better if you give some, some like some coins some coins mm -hmm. to avoid that okay like uh giving more money right or giving more than you can okay okay interesting so guys do you agree with jorge with number two that if people ask you for money depending on the place it is better um if you are ready to give them money I agree. Okay. So, but in, where? In the bus too? No. In places. Like one day I was driving around the church um, was near from Liceo Salvadoreño. Liceo Salvadoreño. Liceo Salvadoreño. Por Metro Centro. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you, so you know that the Tutu Nichapa is near. Ah, La Tutu, yes. Yes. I, so I was thinking day, about the other place. Okay. No, no, that one. So one day I was driving with my windows down. Okay. So I can go up my windows because the car isn't automatic. It's manual. Okay. So one day I was there waiting for the light turns green. Okay. So, uh, some of the boys, they were cleaning the, the, the shields mm -hmm. yeah. and ask for money, but I, I, I don't have any money, like two coins or three cents. And he wow. was like, give me money, please. I'm hungry. Oh. And I was like, dude, I don't have any money for you. Oh, but it was a beggar. Okay. Yeah. What did you do at the end? Did you give them the the pennies no, that you had? I I be I I was really honest. So I opened my purse and I was like, dude, I don't have any. For you me, even opened your any purse? for you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That was funny. I don't have for me. I don't have for you. Okay. Yes. Um, that was. Yeah. Funny. Don't give me your cell phone, please. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think he he doesn't think about my cell phone because he, oh. he said to me, oh, don't worry, child. 
There will be better days for you. Don't be sad. I'm not for sad. you and me. Oh <laughs> my god, he was so understanding. Yes. <laughs> but he was, he was not aggressive. Like, no. oh, you gave me some now. Oh, uh -huh. okay. Wow, you were so lucky. And even the person sounded like very polite, very kind. Yes, it was oh. a weird day. <laughs> I mean, but it was a good one because the area yeah. is famous, I guess, because, of, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of beggars. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. That was super funny. I will take that expression, you know, <laughs> next time I run into that. All mm -hmm. right. Thank you. Thank you for sharing, Ariela. Olga, I'm sorry. I think you had something to share with us. Please go ahead. Thank you, teacher. In my case, in the bus, in the bus, uh, 101D. <laughs> Mm -hmm. in many infection uh, but I'm, I'm trying to have money in the hand mm -hmm. but if who ask for money only <laughs> just just take but uh, do you agree with Jorge on that that is better if you are ready with some coins yes so Okay, like one coin, two coins, just in case, you know. Mm, one or two coins. Already? Okay. Yeah, mm. right, because that is part of our reality, unfortunately. There are a lot of people getting into buses. Okay. Okay, okay. Thank you for sharing that. Um, guys, the next one, uh, it's a, a sentence or a statement, a question, you know, something we had previously discussed. But let's listen to some of your opinions. It says, how will you um, get out of your house if it starts to burn? Guys, have you ever think of, uh, have you ever thought about it? Have you ever thought about what or where would you um, you know, leave your house if there is a fire or an earthquake or a tremor or something like that? No. Earthquake, yes, teacher. Okay, for an earthquake, yes. Mm -hmm. And for an, a fire? No. No. So, guys, this question says, "How would you get out of your house if it's uh, if there is a fire? Is there a, a a danger in your house, or can you just leave by the door and that's okay, no problem?" In my case, uh, many years ago, mm -hmm. I um have uh, I for six years and. Oh. All in house um, put um, I don't know uh, colchones in in the in, in el suelo. Okay. In, so the mattress, uh, they are called mattress. Ah, uh, mattress. Why? Because uh, what? Um, there's. I don't know how this is, but my my uncle mm -hmm. um, have a problem with the with the uh, with the bed and mm -hmm. start fire. But oh. uh, my grandma lo sofocó, lo apagó. No sé cómo se dice. So uh, for fires, we can just put it off. So your grandma put it off. My grandma put it off. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, so like the bed or the mattress uh, caught fire. It caught yes. fire. Oh, okay. But was it a big, big fire or something super minimum, you know, so, something super small? Mm, the bed uh, is rounded. La cama se quemó. Ah, so the bed, okay, it, it caught bed. fire. Uh, but did you leave the house or was it uh, more than just the bed? Well, first, uh, were you in the house? No. In the house. In... Was everybody sleeping? No. In... Um, I or it was during the day. In the work. 
and the war oh. and girls all put the bed in the in the soil on the floor mm -hmm. the floor. Oh. Um, because uh, soldiers and others mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and put the um Uh, fire. Oh, okay. Our uh, house. Oh, okay. Well, but it sounds really dangerous because if you mentioned that, um, so the mattress caught fire, it is really dangerous if you are sleeping, right? So it can get bigger, definitely. Oh, all right. All right. So, but yeah. the good thing is that nothing uh, wrong happened after that. Guys, nobody else, uh, do you have any recommendation on this one? Like what we can do uh, or how can we leave um, in case of a fire or there is something that is burning? Uh, take care of the child and go out of the house. Okay, just leave, right? It's yes. my, it's my advice. Okay, so get, okay, I got to include that one that is get down. So get down like the closest you can to the floor, right? And try to exit, like um, crawling or something. That is the one. All right, guys. And next question says right here, what measures do you take when you're walking at night? Well, uh, fortunately, I think now it's a little bit, um, I don't want to say safer. I don't want to say safer, but less dangerous. <laughs> but what measures do you take uh, when you are out at night? Do you see, do you do anything, guys, when you're working, you know, after six, seven, that is kind of dark? The cell phone has a lamp. Mm, okay, so use like the lamp, flashlight. Okay. What do you do? Girls, boys. Or you don't um, normally walk at night? I don't do walk at, at night. You don't? No, even if it's in the daylight. <laughs> oh, you don't like walking? I like walking. I'm afraid of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Yes, I get you. Well, but uh, there are I some like, places. I like to walk, but in the safe places <laughs> ah okay but now i guess there are some places um where you can go walking right there are some parks like bicentenario yes. i don't know how dangerous that can be no. you have capitalon in santa tecla centenario is good i'm actually i'm going to to train right there in bicentenario yes Ah, okay. I, any other place that you can recommend, guys, where it's kind of safe or less dangerous? Uh, I don't know if it's safer. Um, the park Cuscatlan. Ah, okay, Cuscatlan. Now that is, you know, oh, it could be, could be a good mm -hmm. option. And guys, do you have any other place you can recommend? Um, some years ago, I am remember um, um, we run in Charley with um, our friends and only we go together and come back together. Ah, okay. Like the walkings, uh, but with friends, right? That's a really yeah. nice idea. Okay, okay. So the place can be, you know, well, but that's the thing that it's better not to expose yourself to dangerous areas, right? Okay, but sounds really good, like going with a friend. And the last one, guys, it says, what do you think of, about keeping a gun in your uh, house? You know that El Salvador uh, is, guns are not permitted, but if you ever move to other countries like USA, um, so there is, like a law that permits you or allows you to have guns in the house, right? And most of American houses have guns in the house. What do you think about that? What do you think about having a, a house, a, a gun in a house? 
Would you like to have a gun? I consider it's dangerous. It's dangerous? Yes, if you have a child, could be could be a big problem if they they find the the gun. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, what about Mr. Gabarrete? Last time you showed us a taser. <laughs> so is that okay for you? Would you like to have, or I don't know if you have guns, but um, what do you think about keeping guns in your house? Is that okay? It's dangerous. It's dangerous too? Yes. yes. Dangerous? Nobody would say yes. Come on, guys. <laughs> okay. I mean, but in our in our country it's different. The laws are different, oh. but in USA it is permitted. So that is the point. Uh in my that... opinion, yes, my son. In my opinion, is no it's bad is no not wrong. It's, uh, it's not very appropriate. It's uh arma. To have a gun. Because in dangerous, a okay. problem is in, uh, in the novel. Puede comprometer. Un problema. Ah, okay. So you get into trouble. Yes. Okay, so you can get into trouble. That's right. Okay. But it's because in our country, you know, it's not uh, permitted that way. All right. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. I brought these questions mm. uh, so we can share. Yes, Marielena, tell us, tell us. We don't think the guns are not dangerous. The people are dangerous. Oh, My uncle if, okay. A and uh, keep a gun in a house a uh, very long time and yeah. any any problem. Oh, so it is not the, the problem is not guns, but people. In the people. Interesting. Okay. We can talk about that, but yes, I agree. <laughs> okay, I definitely agree on that. All right. Okay, guys, thank you so much for that. Um, if you take a look, most of the questions are just about opinions, right? Ideas, but they are like in present times. Now, coming back to the topic we were checking yesterday, we changed this thing a little bit. Yesterday, we were talking about conditional number two. I'm sorry, conditional number three, right? And we were talking about situations that were unreal. So if you remember, give me a sec. Um, okay, give me just a second here. So if you remember, we were checking um, part of the things. Give me one sec. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we were checking like some possibilities, uh, some changes some things that in past we wanted to be different. And part of the, of the definition of this conditional or third conditional says that we use it to describe a situation in past that didn't happen as to imagine its results. Um, I got to be super honest, uh, conditional two and conditional three, this one uh, is de los más utilizados and they are considered intermediate and advanced level if you can use them properly, that would be ooh, super nice. That would sound amazing. But uh, escribirlo helps a lot. El detalle es cuando ya lo vamos a armar en el aire. And that is exactly what we're going to try to do today. Um, ya no solo escribirlo, sino intentar armar las oraciones as well, sin escribirlas too. So um, the third conditional expresses sorrow and regret about an event in the past. So sorrow because you're like, oh, why, why did I do that? So you are expressing sorrow or regret, right? So sometimes uh, you can express it with I wish uh, and you can express it with if. So both of them work a lot in that uh, to express sorrow or regret. So you say if I had none, uh, I wouldn't have done it, right? But I'm talking about something in past. So something that I cannot change even if I wanted to. Some other times you will not listen to the if I had, but you will listen to I wish. You simply will listen to this as I wish I hadn't. I wish I hadn't uh, done it. So you can either listen to if 
or you can either listen to Wish. Later, we can check Wish a little bit, but right now, um, because of the grammatical component we have, we are going to take a little time to double check just conditional number three in the full uh, structure, right? So um, guys, if I tell you, for example, uh, I broke, um, I don't know, I was bullying somebody, right? I was bullying somebody and uh, that person, that person broke my nose. This has never happened to me, you know, but let's just make a, an example here. So imagine that this is the kind of a scenarios we have. It says, I was bullying somebody, I was messing with somebody, and that person destroyed, broke my nose. So if I am a bully, uh, what do you think can be my regret? So what is, why do I feel sorrow? Why do I feel bad? So if you're talking to somebody, how would you express that one? If I had, is if I hadn't bullied somebody, hmm? I wouldn't. No. Uh, mm, let, of, let's write it. Let's write it together so we get used to right. that. Uh, remember that thinking. Uh, not writing the things, but just thinking in the air is a little bit more complicated. So I was bullying somebody and that person broke my nose. Okay, I can say, for example, si no me hubiera metido con esa persona, right? If I, pasado perfecto, hadn't messed uh, with that person, right? So si no hubiera molestado, if I hadn't messed uh, with that person, Okay, so what is the second part of this conditional? I'm going to use would, put, should, and a present, sorry, present perfect. So if I hadn't messed with that person, I wouldn't have ended up in the hospital, for example. So oh, I'm giving just more information here of something that happened to me. So obviously this is a regret, ya no lo puedo cambiar. I'm expressing un arrepentimiento but it says I wouldn't have ended up in the hospital. So ended up is like no hubiera terminado, right? I wouldn't have, so ended up is como um, algo que me sucedió, una consecuencia. So I wouldn't have ended up in the hospital. What other ideas uh, come to your mind, guys? What could have been different? That person, Gulen have broke my nose. Oh, if I hadn't messed with that person, okay, I'm gonna write it here, comma. So that person Gulen. wouldn't have, we can say wouldn't have had, no hubiera tenido una razón, wouldn't have had a reason to break my nose. Okay, yes. Or uh, as you mentioned, that person wouldn't have Broken my nose, just like that. Okay, broken my nose. Anything else, guys? Do you have a different idea right there? What do you think can be my regret? Like bullying something. Somebody. Mm -hmm. uh, the regret is, is bullying somebody. Oh, yes, my regret is that, right? That I um, ended up bullying this person. Let's change the scenarios. Imagine that we get kind of um, ambitious and greedy at work. And guys, what is a reason why you can get fired? So give me a reason. I was fired because you are disrespectful. Mm. Or okay. for screaming because... to your boss. Because for screaming to your boss. Can you get fired because you scream to your boss? Depends of what you 
<laughs> Depends on the words you use. <laughs> because I, uh, I punch my boss. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if a person would do if this. You, if you take a nap in your time to work, you can be fired. Can you be fired? I don't know. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> But imagine that this is the reason why I was fired. So I was fired because I punched my boss. Um, what do you think I, I would regret? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> okay, you wouldn't have regrets in here. <laughs> no, but let's talk about changes. Que pudo haber sido diferente, right? What could have been different? You regret so, you was fired. Okay, the regret is, yeah, I'm, I'm fired. Uh, because I punched my boss. No, but we are also talking about like the changes. Que pudo haber sido diferente, like in this case. Um, because puedo ser, I can be fired. This is the consequence. Pero no necesariamente me arrepiento, right? <laughs> so I can say, for example, si yo me hubiera eh, ido al área donde no hay cámaras. <laughs> okay, so if I have, oh, or if that have happened in the dark area, I don't know, I'm gonna call it that way, um, I wouldn't have been fired. So I wouldn't have been fired. All right, take a look at this one. So um, this sentence is not negative. Normally we have just been using negative sentences. This is like a, another option, right? Like thinking out of the box. So if the fight, um, when I use the fight, if the fight had happened in the dark area or in the um, blind area, I'm gonna change the word dark for blind, where there are no cameras, I would, oh, negative. I would not have been fired. So we're having another possibility here. What else, guys? What comes to your mind? Give me some possibilities. Que pudo haber sido diferente o que pude haber hecho diferente? Um, so I was not fired to avoid being fired. Maybe if... Maria Elena, why are you laughing? Ya le pasó, <laughs> right? <laughs> it happened to you. <laughs> I am uh, thinking. Oh, okay. Other, other okay. Um, oh, okay. If I had um, asked for expert help. For extra help? For expert help. Other person. Ah, <laughs> eh, okay. <laughs> um, you mean, I, alguien que, alguien I, que lo golpeara I, por mí? Yes. You mean, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> if I had asked uh, for an expert help, uh, no hubiera sido. Uh, I would not mm. have it. I, I can say, pude haber evitado, right? Las consecuencias. I would. Mm, pero como hablamos de posibilidades, también puedo usar could. I could have avoided uh, the consequences. Okay. Okay, interesting. Consequence, consequences. I'm having a glitch in my brain, guys. Uh, am I spelling consequences right? Consequences. Ah, yes, okay. Never mind. Yes, sir. I could have avoided the consequences. Very nice. Yes. Anybody else? I could have. I could have avoided the consequences. Very nice. Do you have any other um, idea here what I could have done differently? No more? Nothing else? I don't think. Okay, okay, no worries. So let's go ahead and let's kind of get some ideas here. Remember, we use regrets. Uh, we express regrets, sorrows, or differences in past with this um, structure. So guys, I have a little video for you. And uh, I think you have probably seen this one but we are going to use it. Have you ever seen the movie Benjamin? Benjamin Button from a, 
Yes, yes, that yes. one. Yes. Have you seen it? Yes. Yes, teacher. Did you like the movie? Yes. yes. It was good. Oh, okay. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't understand it. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what happened. No, but um, I don't know if that is a real thingy, but there are a couple of scenarios that go on with this movie, mm -hmm. especially because, um, have do you remember the accident of the girl? Do you remember, um, I don't remember her name, but she was a dancer. Um, and, uh, you know, one activity, led to another, to another, to another, and at the end she had an accident. I don't know if you remember that part. So I have this video for you, and we are going to check this one. It's like a two, three minute video, it's not very long, but what I want you to notice is, um, what are some of the things that could have changed in the past, so she avoided having this accident? So I'm gonna share my screen. I shared the link in the in the um in the chat right there, so you can watch it. You know, you can check it on your own, and you can come up, guys, with some ideas like what could have been different. So um, the thing is that she had this accident, right? Uh, so tell us about uh, some of the events that happened in the in the story that could have been different, and uh, so she didn't have the accident, or she could avoid it having that accident. So let's watch it, guys. Let me know if you can see the video. It is. I let you know. Let me check. It is a three minutes video. All right. So I'm gonna give you like some minutes so you can watch it and you can come up with some ideas on what could have been different. So que pudo cambiar, right? What could have been different? Guys, we have five minutes.
Um, already, guys, I'll give you some minutes so you can try to um, think about some, based on the video, um, the person said, this is a collision cause. So if only one thing um, had been different, you know, if, and he starts giving examples of the things that could have uh, been, di been different. Now, what you gotta do is just make the full sentence. For example, um, he said, if, uh, if the girl at the shop uh, hadn't broken up uh, with her boyfriend the night before, the night before, so um, maybe, what do you think could have been different here? So if the girl at the shop hadn't broken up with her, because if you saw in the video, the girl was crying, right? And the gift was not ready. So if the girl at the shop hadn't broken up with her boyfriend the night before, uh, the gift or the present, I don't remember if it was a present, so would have been ready, all right? So that little thing could have changed the whole thing, the whole event, right? So try to come up with two or three ideas and later we discuss it, guys. I'll give you five more minutes. I have one teacher, but I'm not sure. I'll say it, just say it. We will check it out. No worries. If the girl doesn't forgotten her coat, the taxi driver couldn't roll over the dancing girl. Ah, okay, okay. So if the if the girl hadn't forgotten her coat, yeah, right, because she went back to the room. Okay, to pick it up. Very nice. Yeah, that sounds good. Sounds really good. Anything else, guys? I'll give you some minutes so you can um, think about the, the, the things that could have been different here.
Two more minutes. I have um, two. Oh, okay, very nice. Go for it. One similar, uh, the, I don't know, how do you say, before forfeiture, mm -hmm. um, but a similar. If she hadn't forgotten her coat, mm -hmm. she wouldn't have taken the first taxi. Ah, okay, okay. So if she hadn't forgotten the coat, she would have taken the first taxi. Very nice. Yes, that's what I thought as well. All right, thank you. What is the other one I mentioned? The you mentioned other, the... the other is if the truck had been parked, um, the taxi driver would have um, had a better uh, view and would have a break and on, in time. Oh, so if the if the car you said had if been parked, the truck, if the truck had parked, okay, like in a better position, right? A better position. Okay, so the the boy having a struck her. Okay, yeah, that's right. So she had had. Uh, like a better um, vision, right? Or visibility of the girl. All right, very nice. Yeah, that sounds really good. Uh, let me take a look, Sylvia. If she had looked around before crossing the street, she hadn't had an accident. That is really nice. Only the second, um, uh, we are going to include, she hadn't, uh, if she had looked around before crossing the street, after, after the comma, it is necessary that we include would, could, or should, any of them. So or you can say like, if she had looked around before crossing the street, she wouldn't, eh, y necesitamos presente perfecto. So that would be have eh, had. She wouldn't have had, or she couldn't have had, or she shouldn't have had. Mm -hmm. So. It is really, really nice. So let me take the second part. We can modify it a bit. Mm -hmm. No problem. Uh, anything else? Do you have another sentence, guys? I tried it. <laughs> oh, no, nice. Give it a try. Th that is what we are, you know, trying here. So no worries, no worries. If not, we correct it and no, 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 no worries here. Mm -hmm. Okay. If Daisy hadn't danced on the street, she wouldn't have broken her leg. If she hadn't danced in the street, she wouldn't have broken her leg. Okay, yes, that makes sense. If she hadn't danced in the street, she wouldn't have broken her leg. Yeah, right, because the reason why she got the accident was because she was dancing. Okay, okay, yes, sounds good, sounds really good. And the other was, if the taxi driver hadn't drunk the coffee, he would have picked up the lady. If the taxi driver had then drank the coffee, he would have picked, he would have picked a lady. He would have picked. Ah, uh, he didn't pick her because she was drinking. Okay, okay, yeah, makes sense as well. All right. Yes, very nice structure. Mm -hmm. Really, really cool. Guys, do you have another one? I have other one. And go ahead, go for it. If the friend from the girl, the dancing girl, doesn't broken the lace of the shoes, mm -hmm. the shoelace, the, mm -hmm. the dancing girl wouldn't have had rollover. Oh, okay, okay, very nice. If she has, solo la primera parte. Um, can you say it again? Can you repeat it, please? If the friend from the dancing girl doesn't broke the the lace for the mm -hmm. uh, the dancing gear wouldn't have cut all over. Okay, okay, makes a lot of sense. Just sentence number one with the if. So it's like si ella no si la si la cinta no se hubiera roto, right? Yes. We can make it a little bit more specific because uh, no sería la chica sino la 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 cinta, so if the shoelace or if the girl's shoelace 
y acá necesito pasado perfecto. Because ya pasó, because ya, ya pasó, you know, no lo puedo cambiar. So if the shoelace, oh, or if the girl's shoelace hadn't broken, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, no se hubiera oh, roto, no. or hadn't torn. Mm -hmm. So we use a past perfect right there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but sounds really nice. Uh, yes, Wendy, what do you have? Um, if the girl hasn't come back for her coat, mm -hmm. uh, the taxi wouldn't, mm -hmm. wouldn't have left her. Mm, okay, okay. Yes, if the girl hadn't gone back or come back to the, for the coat, the taxi wouldn't have left her. Okay, yes, makes a lot of sense as well. All right, very nice, good structure. Other, la, the mm -hmm. other sentence? If the girl hadn't danced in the street, would, would, wouldn't have? No, no. She wouldn't, ha, wouldn't have or have. Okay. Can you say it again? Can you repeat it? If the girl hadn't danced in the street, mm -hmm. She wouldn't have been thrown over by the taxi. Oh, okay. If she hadn't danced in the street, she wouldn't have been uh, run over the taxi. Yes, that sounds all right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Really, really good. What else, guys? What else do you have? There are like a lot of different things uh, that in the video it says uh, may be different, um, you know, so anybody else? Maria Elena, Juan Carlos, oh. yes, tell us, tell us. Um, if the girl have uh, had, if the girl had caught a cold or flu, she uh -huh. wouldn't have been at the practice and nothing have happened. Oh, very nice. So you're changing the whole thing. You're changing the whole story. Nice. So if the girl had had a flu or a cold, nothing would have happened to her. Okay. Okay. Nice. Okay. That's a really good one. I want to write it down. So this is like totally different, right? But it sounds super, super cool. So if the girl, if the girl had had a flu, and obviously no hubiera ido, uh, or if she, if she had not um, gone to the theater or gone to the rehearsal or practice, whatever you want to call it, if she hadn't gone to the rehearsal or to the practice, eh, nothing, nothing would have happened to her, okay? Or the accident um, would have happened to her. Or the accident um, wouldn't have happened, all right? Very nice, super different, you know, super out of the box, but nice as well, okay, cool. So if she hadn't gone to the rehearsal, nothing would have happened to her. All right. Or I can even change it and I can say the accident, the accident would not have happened as well. All right, very nice. Anything else, guys? Do you have a different one? Nelson, do you have one for us? Olga, do you have one for us? Ariela? Christian, Tatiana, hi, good evening. Uh, Silvia, do you have another? Hi, teacher, good evening. Hi, Miss, how you doing? Good, good. I'm a little bit tired, teacher, but everything. No worries, no <laughs> worries. But thank you so much for joining, for making the time for to be here. All right, so okay, guys, very nice job with these uh, examples. They are really, really nice. But now I have just a couple more exercises. So we can, you know, um, oh, okay. 
so we can you know move on with this part guys if this is complicated if you got some questions please let us let me know because it's really important that you know you handle this topic especially because sometimes um even if it's just for you or if this is for an interview they will ask you oh tell me about a problem you had a conflict you had and what could have been different or what would you have done differently so this is the moment in which everything happens and you need to use this one so take a look at this scenario there we have do this um we're gonna do a sentences we're gonna complete them but the first part is super open for you. So you can say whatever you want, uh, any idea that comes to your mind, but we have the second part ready here. Number one, or the first says, I would have been much happier. Uh, the second says, I would be much wealthier today. Wealthier is like rich, right? Next one says, I would have got much better marks at school. Next one says, I would have hit him or her. So let's think about some scenarios where you can use any of this. Guys, for example, um, the last one, I would have hit him or her. Under what, under what circumstances would you hit somebody? Mm, when they are annoying me. Okay. So, okay, okay, I like that one. So if someone, because remember that we are talking about past, so everything mm -hmm. is past. Oh, if no. someone had tried to bully me, now that Ariela mentioned annoyed, so if someone had tried to bully me at a school, right? Mm -hmm. And here we have the second part, I would have hit him or I would have hit her. Any other uh, situation or circumstance where you would have, um, I don't know, uh, hit somebody if someone. So remember the first part is always have and past participle. So if someone have, um, what about this one? If someone have eaten my piece of cake oh eating my food or your lunch right no but i don't uh -huh. think you would have hit somebody because of that um it so if someone had food. eaten my food i would have hit him or her for the food depends of the food okay depends of the food all right okay depends on that so any other circumstance if someone had robbed me no would you hit somebody if they try to rob you like in the yeah. school like in the street i think so <laughs> okay probably yeah so these are super open sentences so you can complete them with reality you know with your reaction number one for example says i would have been much happier so under what circumstances would you be much happier if, if I, I won the lottery the lottery if I, ah, if, si, si uh, yeah. if I had yeah. won the lottery okay si hubiera nacido en otro país, do you think so if I <laughs> have yeah. been born in uh in yeah. in what country guys in Switzerland in Switzerland Yes. Switzerland. Switzerland. Or How Canada. Do you Switzerland? Canada. But Switzerland is too cold. Yes, mm -hmm. I know. Canada. Okay. <laughs> Canada, maybe. Maybe in Italy. It's moist too. Italy. Uh huh. But Italy. Italy, in Italy is small. Really? Oh, I would have. Okay, I would have. Mm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Guys, which country? Where would you be happier? Mm. Switzerland is supposed to be the best country, but for me, it's too cold. The jails, yeah. the jails are empty. Empty in Switzerland? Yes. No. Oh. Or Sweden. I always confuse both countries because I don't know which is which. 
So which is the happy country, Switzerland or Sweden? Do you have any idea? There is one country that is considered the happy country, but I'm not sure. They are family. <laughs> <laughs> they are family. Yeah. Okay. Or any other place where you think you could be happier now? So, okay, but you can, you can complete it the way. In Hawaii. Oh, okay. Hawaii. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if I had been burning Hawaii, I would have been much happier. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, El Salvador is not a bad option after all, but okay. <laughs> you are free to complete it with whatever uh, what you have here. The second one says, I would meet, be much wealthier. So remember that wealthier or wealthy, this means rich. So I don't know if I had, if I had, so, ¿qué tuvieron que haber hecho, guys? To be wealthy or to be rich. If I had... Completed my master degree. Mm, no. I don't think so. I mean, the sentence is okay, but... <laughs> Do mm. you think you could be much wealthier? Maybe no, if you're but... married to an old guy with money. Oh, if I had a sugar... <laughs> if I had got a sugar daddy. <laughs> or a sugar mommy. So yeah. if I had gotten a sugar daddy, <laughs> okay. Um, if I had gotten the lottery, probably. If I had, I don't know, be creative, guys. So you can complete the way you want it over here. So I'll give you some minutes to complete those. Um, I'm sorry, just I want to call your attention with this. The next one says, I would have got much better marks at school. If you remember, uh, I think someone asked if it was okay to use got or gotten. So both are fine. So I would have got, I would have gotten. Both are correct.
one more minute. Are we ready? Do you need more time? Already, guys, I'll give you one more minute. Okay, guys, so let's go with sentence number one. Uh, Mr. Gavarrete Nelson, what do you have in number one? I would have been much happier. So okay, uh, what do you have in the first? What do you have over, over here? So uh, uh, is I would abroad in other country, would have been mm -hmm. would, uh, would be Oh, okay. So if I had, I have, 
bar on the bar on the country. Okay, so if I had been born, si hubiera nacido, right? Yes. In other country, just like that. In other, in cualquier otra, in other country. Yes. Why? No, imagine that you had been born in Nicaragua or Venezuela. Ah, <laughs> uh -huh, sir. Okay, but okay, that's all right. No problem. Guys, what do you have in number one? Uh, Silvia, do you have something for number one? In, in my case, if I had been with my mother, uh, I would be, be being much happier. Okay, so if you had been with your mother, you would have been much happier. All right, very nice. Uh, guys, number two, do you have something for the second? I, I have one for the number one. Oh, what do you have? If I had finished the platform, <laughs> I would have been much happier. <laughs> okay, okay, that's interesting. Do you have another one, guys? <laughs> if I had married, I would be much happier. Oh, okay. I don't think Why? so. <laughs> Why? Really? You, still, you cannot still get married? <laughs> So, okay, Mario, why not? So, do you have any regret about that? No, I don't. <laughs> the thing that I guess uh, we are happy or, or we have to be happy first. With or without. With that. Uh, we have to learn to live only with with ourselves okay. in order to get the capabilities or capacity, I don't know how to say it, uh, to live with another person. Because I don't think that one person uh, gives you the happiness. happiness. Oh, okay, okay, that oh, can be. Your daughter, oh. son. Mm, okay, but still, if you want to get married, so you can still do it. <laughs> so there is not like something that, uh, you know, it stops you from getting married. Oh, guys, what about this regret uh, for the ones who, I don't know, got married in the past? So if I haven't, oh, if I haven't gotten married, I wouldn't be happy. Do you think that people uh, feel regret for getting married? Is that Maybe. something common? Do you regret it? <laughs> well, I'm not married yet. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, but I'm not married, I so I don't know. I see how many married. I don't have much uh, of, a, of an opinion here I can share, but guys, mm -hmm. for the ones who are married, What's your opinion? Give us some recommendations, guys. <laughs> For the ones who, who are still uh, single. I would like to marry. I always recommend that mm -hmm. if you want to live with somebody, you can live with that person maybe for a few years okay and like living cohabitation yeah maybe in order to know how this person really is mm, okay okay interesting that's a very interesting advice like to get together with a person without getting married i believe right Right. With, okay. Okay. And when without you think the that legal. The correct time you can get married. Oh, okay. Without the legal paper. Okay. Sounds all right. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> so, okay. I guess nobody regrets uh, getting married. So we're fine. <laughs> Do you have any other sentence here? Marielena, I, I feel 
I don't know. I feel your microphone goes on, off, on, off. So I'm like, she wants to say something. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. What thank are you thinking? So first, if my children gave me a sweet. I am waiting. I would have been much happier. Happy. If, if your children uh, give me sweets. If your children have given you sweets, like candies. Candies. I would have been much happier. Ah, okay. I would have been <laughs> maybe more hyperactive. <laughs> okay, okay. That sounds all right. And the others uh -huh. go to murder. I am the boss. And it is the best. <laughs> to be married. I am the boss. Ah, you are divorced. <laughs> yes. And oh. it is the best. Because oh, nice. in Good my doing, uh, say single. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. so your your ID. I had a question now that you mentioned that. So in El Salvador, your ID doesn't say divorced. Yes, before, but I don't remember how many ago this change yeah. in with the woman with the man is equal in the do oh, ID. In the uh, ID. The Say divorce, uh, divorce, or say viuda. Oh. Um, no sé cómo se dice. Widow, uh, widow, or widow. widower. Mm -hmm. Widower. Yes. Uh, say widower or, or divorce. And in now the it's a single. Woman, in the case woman, you can choose and say single. Again. Oh, very nice. But but I'm because I mean you're single, so <laughs> yes, it doesn't matter. For, for the woman. Oh, yes, I for the woman. Yeah, but that is something that I, you know, it's super crazy because in El Salvador we have also um the expression or the word de, right? When you get married. So yeah. That is another thing. But we will continue talking about that later. <laughs> we will get here into a big debate <laughs> of whether the, the, you know, the Santos, the Perez, the Valle, I don't know. Did you, do you have the then? No, right? So I'm looking at your names. So Maria Elena, did, did you have the, the part in your doing, your ID? Did you, did you change your last name? No. Uh, when, when I you... am married, uh -huh. yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so yeah, that's like a, another topic for an, another discussion for another day. <laughs> another okay. discussion. Yeah. All right, guys. What about next one? Do you have something there in the last two? Do you have any sentence, any completed sentence for the last? Much better marks at a school, and you would have I hit have him or her. I'm sorry. I had one for mm -hmm. the number three. If I hadn't studied with studied with my classmates, I would got much better marks at school. Oh, very nice! So your classmates were terrible. <laughs> they were companies. bad influence. <laughs> Okay, why? You said, oh, let's go study. And what did you do? So crazy. So you didn't study? Yes, definitely. Just, just stay there, but without the study. So you played? Played, drank, and a lot of things. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so you had all the university experience. <laughs> Yes. Okay, okay. Oh, so if you hadn't studied with your classmates, you would have gotten better grades. Okay, or better scores. Guys, anybody else? Do you have do you have something in number three? In the number three, I um why if I had been born in the one million seven hundred, I wouldn't uh 
got much better marks at the school because I am a genius in this time. In, in what year? In 70, oh, oh, in 700. Oh, 1700. Uh -huh. So in the 1700s or in the seven, what is that? Um, 20, 17th century? Yes. 17th century. Okay. So you would have had, had much better marks at the school. Okay. I think everything was much different. I don't know. I don't really know. Okay. But that sounds like a nice sentence. Anything else, guys? Do you have something for the last? I I had the What do you have, Diana? Yes. If I had spoke less on class, I would have got much better marks at school. Okay, so if you had spoken less, why did you speak a lot? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you don't look like that kind of person who is, you know, like talking a lot in classes. I'm still lame. <laughs> really? Okay. Okay. So you had yeah, spoken less in classes. We can't. <laughs> yeah that's so bad you know we should yeah. go to LA but someday you know hopefully you will have the chance to go to presential classes that's definitely different a different story <laughs> for yes. both you know super cooler okay and for the last I wrote if I had controlled my anger I would I wouldn't I I, I did it in past the other way oh no this oh, fine yes I would have hidden him Okay, so if I had controlled my anger, I wouldn't have had him. Okay, okay. Anything else, guys? Do you have something for the last? Thank you. Those are really nice sentences. In the last one, nice I sentence. have, I have, if I had avoided to talk with Manuel, I wouldn't be hit, hit him. If I had avoided talk to Manuel. Yes. Why did you talk to Manuel? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if I had uh, if I had avoided talking uh, to Manuel, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, or I would have. I wouldn't. I wouldn't have hit him. Have hit him. Okay. I wouldn't <clears throat> have hit him. All right. Okay, sounds all right. <laughs> I'm still late. Why? What happened with this Manuel? <clears throat> because something wrong happened with, with him. Okay, <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's, that's enough, I think. <laughs> so if you don't feel like sharing details, no problem, we are good. Okay, guys, very nice. Now I have this following activity that is called Is My Regrets, okay. Everybody has small regrets, bigger regrets, but we are going to share only the ones that you feel super comfortable. So is my regret is like, um, let me think, okay, um, a little bit better. Let me feel better, okay, or help me feel better uh, with my regrets. So the activity is like this. Think about some regrets you may have, or if you don't have any, if you say, oh, I regret nothing in my life, right? Like the cat. <laughs> um, so make them up, yeah? Make them up is like invent and sell those. They can be super funny regrets. They can be something easy. You don't have to go with something super bad or super heavy. No, not really. So <laughs> what are some common regrets, guys, that you have in your life? Give me some ideas. Why, why do you feel, oh, like, oh, I shouldn't have done it? If I hadn't done it. So what is something you regret? Uh, let's make a list together, right? Let's come up with a list together uh, in a combination of regrets. I think that can be a little easier. So guys, what are some regrets you may have here? Mm, maybe being more like... Focused. Not saving money. <laughs> okay, so I spend all my money, all my money. Uh, okay. Just a dinner. 
Uh, if if I have finished the university, maybe I could have a better position. Okay, so I didn't finish the finish university. Okay, uh, that's all right. Anything else? Any regrets, guys? What is something that you regret? You can make it up. It can be something like I don't know, super comments, something personal. You can just make it up. Uh, I have one teacher. Mm -hmm. Tell us for him. If I had traveled the last five years, I will have known a lot of countries. Okay, so I haven't traveled uh, in some years. Okay. Uh, why didn't you travel? Uh, Let, let's say because I don't have money, right? Oh, I can use this one. <laughs> so I haven't traveled in some years because I don't have money. Okay. Uh, I spent all my money. Um, guys, what do you normally spend your money on? On food? on clothes, on shoes, what do you normally buy? Clothes. Clothes, okay. Uh, in, okay. In my case, things that I don't need. Things that you don't need, <laughs> like for example. Uh, I, I don't know, how do you say, cojines? <laughs> okay. Yeah, cushions. Yeah, they are cushions. One. But they are cool. Um, oh, uh, there is a know. filter in your camera so we cannot see that very well. Okay. But I guess it's a, a little cushion, right? Oh, okay. I saw it. <laughs> and I okay. have one from Harry Potter. <laughs> oh, but Harry Potter is amazing. Okay. So do you collect them? No. no, I just like to spend the money. <laughs> oh, ah, okay. That's it. <laughs> okay, it sounds amazing. No, but Harry Potter is really, really cool. All right. Nine, three, four. What's with that? Money. With money. Ah, with nine, three, three quarters. The, the train station. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a big fan of Harry Potter, but I just spent my money in books, you know, so I bought the Harry Potter collection in English and I was like, yeah, so I spent my money too. So, um, oh, what about bigger regrets? So I have 82 that I don't like. Uh, so some years ago, I got this tattoo and now I'm like, I don't want to show it. I don't like it. So what would oh, you do in my shoes, right? So, um, any other regret, guys? Any anything else we can add to this list? Um, if I had take advantage of my time when I was younger, mm -hmm. I will have my degree or even my master. Ah, okay. I didn't use my time, so I didn't finish university. I'm gonna use this one. Um, so I didn't finish university because I didn't use my time wisely. Okay, okay. But there are, you know, everything I guess. Um, okay, wait, I'm, I'm like taking some points ahead here. Okay, thank you. Anything else, guys? Any other regret? You can make it up. Uh other one teacher okay. if i if i had took the opportunity to play soccer mm -hmm. i wouldn't have i don't know what what happened <laughs> did you have the opportunity to play soccer professionally uh not professionally but something like that in uh tercera Theory. Oh, but it was a league. Okay. Yes. How old were you? Huh? How Maybe. old? How old were you? Maybe 12. <gasps> wow. Okay. 
So yeah, you could have had some opportunities, right? Like, um, I don't know, a professional soccer player or an international soccer player, who knows? Okay, okay. So guys, these are the situations that we are going to try to, it says here is my regret, all right? So obviously um, you can think about uh, things that could have been different, what you could have done. Um, remember, esto ya pasó. There is nothing you can do. Um, so, but the point is, que pudo haber sido diferente. But the activity, no es echarle leña al fuego, but is my regret. So you gotta tell your classmate, right? Uh, imagine that they are telling you, oh, I haven't traveled in some years because I spend all my money in things I don't need. So you have to ease their regret or give them some recommendations but don't make them feel guilty, all right? So that is the point, don't make them feel guilty. So what can we use? Oh, if we are going to use, obviously third conditional for that. So if I had been in your position, right? So if I had been in your position, if I had, um, I don't know, if I had known, if I, had, if I were you, so we can use conditional two, conditional three, whatever you prefer to talk about this situation, but super important, no lo hagamos sentir mal. Don't make the person feel um, bad here. If I were you, right? Or if I had been in your position, that is a conditional number three as well. So um, you can write them down, pero la idea es pensarla sin escribirla. So guys, please, Try not to use the chat. Intenten irlas haciendo en el aire, right? Eh, se pueden ayudar. You can try to use Spanish if that works for you. Eh, but no les escriban. I mean, intentemos hacerlas en el aire, right? So what could have been different here? If I tell you, for example, oh, I have a tattoo I don't like. So... What could I have done differently in this case? So if I had been in your position, I would have uh, thought better, right? Um, you know, before going to the tattoo artist or I would have told the, the tattoo artist that I don't like it. So I don't know. So think about some possibilities, but sin hacer sentir uh, without being like so pushy or making uh, these um, statements, so, so, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just checking something here. Okay, guys, let's go to the groups, please. You can take a screenshot, and it's called Is My Regret. So, intenten no escribirlos, try not to write them down. Let's go, guys. We have five minutes, only five minutes to try to share some ideas. Let's do it.
Hi, good evening. Hi, Miss. Hi. The platform. Um, it kicked you out. Yes, I go. It kicked you out. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Give me one second. Oh, but Wendy is here. Um, so let's just stay here. That's all right. Wendy, we can work with um with Marie with wait. I'm like Maria Elena Guadalupe, Lupita, what do you prefer? <laughs> so whatever. Okay, that, that's all right. That's all right. We can work it out. So, okay. So, girls, um, you have here like all the different scenarios, right? So together, yeah. armemos el, um, ar armemos, no the regrets, you know, like, ¿qué podemos decirle? What can we tell somebody? Um, so if I were you, if I had been in your position, right? So what could have uh, been different here? So those are the ones. If I had, if, if I had been in your position, it's, it's general, the question. No, that is something that we can use uh, to give like some sort of recommendations, right? So, um, in condition, man. yes, for example, I said I haven't traveled in some years because, um, mm -mm. okay, look at this. It says, I missed my opportunity to play in Ali in El Salvador, right? So, I can tell somebody, like, oh, if I had been. Uh, in your position, yo hubiera hecho lo mismo. I would have done the same because, so vamos a utilizar in that case, conditional number three. So no es como todo lo contrario, right? No, if I had been in your position, I would have done uh, the same because I love my country and education is important and you need to go to school. So it's like, what recommendations can we give, right? What could have been different or any recommendation with the conditional? Mm -hmm. The recommendation is that you occupy school. No, because in this case, you can use would because we are talking about something. Obviamente hablamos de algo real, so you can use would, you can use could, and you can use should. So con los tres se dan recomendaciones, or hablamos de cosas que pudieron haber sido diferentes. We talk about things that could have been a little bit different. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, hi, Diana. Is, I haven't traveled in some years uh, because don't have a money. Or mm -hmm. The first, I haven't traveled in some years. Mm -hmm. Okay, travel. What, what country? For or the world because laws the visa i don't know i i don't understand the fears oh those are just some yeah. situations right so if i tell you hey girls i feel really bad because um, in the last five years i haven't traveled i really like traveling but i haven't traveled because i spent all my money on things that i don't need um and i recommend mm -hmm. if i had been in your position um could um make mm -hmm. um, and there es que utilizamos el tercer condicional i would have i could have i should have uh -huh, or you should have ah pero tú tuviste que haber ahorrado dinero you should have saved some money Tú pudiste haber guardado dinero. You could have saved some money. Or the, uh, if I had, if I were you, I would have 
you know, I saved a couple of some dollars, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that is why. And the other, <laughs> and the second, maybe if I have been in your position, I make another, I could another tattoo. No sé, I, encima. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, can you say that again? Uh, in the um, second, if I had been in your position, I could, I could mm -hmm. another tattoo uh, encima. Encima. O sobre. No sé cómo se dice. Uh, I don't know. What do you want to say? <laughs> give me um, some context. Give me some ideas here. If you uh, have a tattoo mm -hmm. that you don't like it, mm -hmm. you make another tattoo. Oh, you can use cover. So cover. Uh -huh. You could have covered. Te lo hubieras cubierto. Uh -huh. Give me, give me the recommendations. With another okay? tattoo. Ah, okay. Or you should have covered. Then we can you should have como recomendación. Tú tuviste que haberte lo cubierto. Exactly. You should have covered that one with another tattoo. Okay. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Wendy, give us some ideas, Wendy, here. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, no worries. No worries. Five more minutes and we finish. We are almost finishing here. Mm, I try. Um, mm, mm, if I have been mm, <laughs> recommendation yes um but 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 okay um you can think about some recommendations that you normally give in spanish so you can bring some ideas in english too right for example if somebody gets a tattoo what do we normally say oh pero es que tuviste que haberlo pensado mejor Right? What else would you say in Spanish? ¿Qué le dirían a alguien, guys? Uh, maybe in the case of the university. Um, Guadalupe se está quebrando un poco. You're breaking. Apaga su camarita un momento. Turn it off. Just turn it off a moment. Y veamos si nos funciona el audio mejor. Turn off your camera, please, and give it give it a try without camera. For example, uh, in a bad exam, mm -hmm. and I you you study more. Yes, sir. If you had a bad score, oh, you would have. If you if you had studied more, you would have gotten a better score. Yes. Or you should have, you should have studied more. Mm -hmm. Like when you say, tuviste que haber estudiado más. You should have, exactly. You should have. Oh. So imagine I tell you, oh, I got a six in the exam. Ah, so you should have studied more. So my recommendation is de ahorita. My recommendation is not for today. Ah, I'll go to the doctor. No. My recommendation is about things que ya pasaron, things I cannot change, I cannot modify, right? Tuviste que haber, debiste haber estudiado más. So you should have studied more, okay? Hi, guys, welcome back. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So guys, we are uh, like coming up with some ideas on the scenarios we have. So if you can give us a hand, that would be amazing. That would be super appreciated. 
So we are in this situation of the tattoo, right? That if I tell you, oh, I got a tattoo, I don't like. So what would be kind of your recommendation for those? Um, with conditional number three, we can also use just the second part, right? Uh, and it goes like this. We can use could, we can use would, and we can use should as well. So how can we use should? Okay, very easy. If I tell you I have a tattoo I don't like, you can say, oh, you should have, uh, what was the expression, Guadalupe? A covered. So you should have covered that tattoo with another tattoo, I think she said. <laughs> okay, so with another uh, tattoo. Guys, do you have a different recommendation here for this one? So using conditional two, using conditional number three. So what if I have a tattoo I don't like? Uh, I have one. No, no hacérselo. Mm, okay, so I can also no use. Okay, perfect. ¿Cómo lo puedo decir? How can I say that? Ah, you it should is, not. Should not. Have. Got in the tattoo. Mm -hmm. So you should not have got in the tattoo. Or also, you should have been twice before mm -hmm. do it. Yes, yeah, so you should have, and I need the past participle. You should have thought, I'm sorry, missing a letter. You should have thought, should have thought twice. Yes. You should have thought twice, right? Before getting the tattoo. The vista de haberlo. Okay. What else? What else? You could have modified your tattoo. Very nice. You could have modified the tattoo. Yes, definitely. Anything else? Those are really, really nice ideas. Do you have a different one? What about the other scenarios? Do you have recommendations for the other scenarios as well? For sure, my mom will say, you can cut your arm. <laughs> you can cut your arm. Uh, you should have a, a tattoo. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. A small tattoo. Mario, I didn't get the cut your arm part. Now I get it. Like, if you have it in your no. arm, you mean? No. Yeah. Uh, okay, I, I was mean, like. My mom will say that. That is very psycho. Uh -huh. You should, like, feel it, you know? No, you shouldn't do it. <laughs> okay, what else? Do you have a different recommendation? So you should have, like, a temporal, um, temporary tattoo. Uh, you should have thought about it twice. Anything else? In the movie, cut their arms and saw. That by me is that is so psycho. <laughs> okay, that would be. I don't know. I wouldn't do that. So, not even as the last result. I don't know. You said you should have modified it. And now you have lasers, right? So you should have removed it. So if you can remove it, you should have removed it. So, so have removed it. Anything else? Oh, or se puede vestir ropa larga. So you should have covered it with long shirts, long blouses. I don't know. What else? So those are like the most common recommendations, right? I think. All right, guys. Oh, unfortunately, it's about time. So before leaving, just let me get your attendance super quick here. Uh, so give me one second. Guys, uh, as a little reminder, no tenemos clases mañana. We do not have classes. So I really hope you enjoy your holiday. So if you trabajan, that you enjoy it too. Guys, les voy a tomar solo una captura here for assistencia purposes. Give me a second. Okay, there we go. There we go. Thank you so much for that. 
Okay. Yes, we go. Thank you, Susana. All right, guys. So thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Y nos vemos hasta jueves. I'll be seeing you on Thursday, guys. Thank, thank you, everybody, for being here. Bye -bye. I'll see you on Thursday. Bye-bye. See you, guys. Bye, see you. Bye, my Have children. a good night. Bye. What's thank up? You. <laughs> What's up? What? <laughs> Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. <laughs> See you, Nelson. Have a good day. Have a good um, holiday too. Bye, guys. Enjoy it. See you. See you. Solo que no sé por qué no puedo salir. Ah, vaya. No se preocupe. Deme un segundo. Deme un segundo. Quizás se le frició. Le, le ayudo acá. Eh, permítame un momento. Ahí está.